within a year, Blue Origin will begin to fly humans to the edge of space. This gives the company, founded by Amazon boss Jeff Bezos, a symbolic victory over competitors like SpaceX, Boeing and Virgin Galactic, who are also undertaking plans to fly paid passengers beyond the Earth's atmosphere. The inaugural flights of these new companies will be a leap into the unknown for passengers, among other things because they will not benefit from the strict regulation that we have come to expect from everything from air travel to private cars. The first space flight participants will be guinea pigs in an experiment that asks, just what does it mean that it is safe in space when the government is not in charge? Entrepreneurs often argue in favor of a light regulation hand to avoid drowning the development of new technologies, and space entrepreneurs are no different. As we move to manned space flight, there is no certification body. Blue Origin executive Erica Wagner recently attended a hearing at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The FAA Federal Aviation Administration is needed to maintain public safety on the ground, but it is not its responsibility to protect astronauts in space, he continued. That is really on our shoulders, and in terms of us having a safe place in the market, we take it seriously, we want to put our own families on board, we take it very seriously. So we are implementing ourselves to internal standards. His comment reveals an unusual reality. Technically, the FAA has jurisdiction over space objects launched by U.S. citizens and companies. But when it comes to manned space flights, the law is designed to give companies the widest possible freedom to develop their technology. The Commercial Space Act allows the government to make safety regulations for space-paying passengers only if it is acting to prohibit a design or a practice that has already resulted in a serious or fatal injury or poses a high risk causing serious or fatal damage on a previous flight. Put simply, in addition to ensuring that the rockets will not go horribly wrong, the FAA does not tell space companies how to protect their passengers until they have already put them at risk. Meanwhile, Space tourists must qualify after receiving written notice of the risks they face, expressly acknowledging that the U.S. government has not certified their rocket as safe.